Hello, uh, it's Strangelet, and I've been making more things for Substance Painter. And new in my AFF sub effects range this month is Border. And Border is, as, it, as you might imagine, a border effect. You can put an outline around things. So, if I draw on Mr. Simurai here, this is how it's working. I'll take a minute to go to the brush and remove painting on height, roughness and metal. Just want to work with the diffuse for this. Oh, I'll have to do it again because it doesn't remember your choices. Yet. Okay. So, as you can see, this is drawing a border around stuff. And that could be quite cool on its own. I'll sharpen this up. Oh dear. There we go. If I make it a really sharp brush, give him some cool text and a star because everybody likes stars. So, on its own, that's pretty good. But we don't want to leave it there. Uh, we got some additional stuff. I'll go from top to bottom. Input RGB. Now this can be toggled to use the incoming RGB of the layer instead of the transparency of the layer. I'll leave that for now because I've got another demo set up for that just above. Border pre-smooth. Uh, this smooths the border before it goes into the machinery and then you can get a, a kind of pre-blurred effect. Uh, border level in high, this is a, just a regular levels control so that you can adjust the effect of the border. At the moment the settings that we've got aren't letting us adjust it too much but that will come in useful later on when we explore further. The border mode, at the moment it's set on outside. If I set it to inside, as you can see, it moves to the inside and there's also a both setting. So that it can be blurred on the outside and the inside simultaneously. I'll set it back to outside for now, as the next two affect this further. Border inner and outer size. That's what they do. They push the border in and out, and of course they work on both, so that you can start to get some quite complex pillow effects. Let's see how tight we can get that. because I've used quite a sharp brush. If I turn the layer effect off, this is what I actually painted. Because I've used quite a sharp brush, the levels aren't having much effect. If I went back and used a softer brush, we should begin to see some gradation. So, that's what I've painted there. Perhaps I'll do it with slightly less flow. So that's what I've painted, that's the input. Yeah, we should be able to get some more gradation. There we go, we can tighten it up. Now you're seeing that this is quite blurred because uh, down here, I'll avoid these for a second, down here we've got a, a post blur, so you can get the border as tight or as loose as you want. I think you have to manually enter 0 0.02 for the best effect. Maybe 0 0.03 or 4. Right. There we go, somewhere between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. That's a pretty good effect. Now the two I avoided are colour, that's pretty obvious, and also alpha, so you can get really subtle effects. Output mode, you can switch the original input on and have it either over or under the border. So there's my original stuff, over the border and under the border.
craziness. So this can be useful for things like drop shadowing things, uh, adding just a little extra either lightning or darkening around areas, and you can get even crazier. You could uh, apply it using the option to input RGB. Like this little demo up here I've got. I have a fill layer with the Simmerize Ambient Occlusion. I'll just switch into diff so you can see it more clearly. So that will now become the input for border. I'll switch that on. Now, if I use input RGB, you can see that it is now using the AO map as the input for the border, and you can start to achieve some weird effects. Very weird effects. And possibly even get a little bit of automatic patterning going on. I was going to copy this functionality through to the other channels. I've left height in because it's useful to to be able to bevel and emboss this stuff. But I didn't bother with the roughness and all that. That'll come in a later version and you guys can add more layers that affect the different channels if you really want. So that's Border. I've been Strangelet, and that was AFF Sub Effects. Have fun.